Or it's not going to rain. I know that, but with skin as fair as mine, moonburn is a real possibility. That's a bazinga, right? That, of course, is the hit show The Big Bang Theory when Sheldon and his friends were fascinated by the moon. Here on CBS Mornings Plus, we were also fascinated by the moon, and we wanted to get to the bottom of what's really important. Like, why is the moon so big and bright sometimes, other times not? Astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson joins us now to answer all of our moon questions. He's the best-selling author of Merlin's Tour of the Universe, a traveler's guide to blue moons and black holes, Mars, stars, and everything far. Neil, thank you very much for coming back. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I keep expecting right. you to turn us down because we have so many of the stupidest questions. <laughs> Bring it on. Okay, yeah, right. this stupid question came from me. Oh, <laughs> Bring it on. A brilliant, brilliant in its simplicity. Okay. Uh, I was sitting at home and I wondered, why does the moon sometimes look so, so big? And I sent an email and here you are, so there you thank are. you. Question number one to you then. Yes. Why? Why does it sometimes look giant? Yeah, it's completely an optical illusion. <gasps> Did you do that? In fact, it's called, it's called the moon on horizon illusion. And when the moon is rising, especially a full moon, and it's juxtaposed near mountains or trees or buildings, your depth cues are thrown off because you know how far away the mountains and buildings are, but the moon is essentially at infinity. And your brain trying to reconcile this makes it bigger than it actually is. It is not bigger, it is all in your head. No. And when the moon gets higher in the sky, you notice it's not as big as it looked when it was on the horizon. No longer is it juxtaposed near terrestrial things. Now, it's because your brain rec recognizes it. So, if for example, you view the scene upside down, like you bend over it yeah. and look at it between your legs, right. mooning the moon. <laughs> but if you, if you do that, then your brain can't recognize the buildings or the mountains and the, it becomes small, it becomes again? small again in no. that instant. Go ahead and do that. Yeah, no right. Way. The, Wait. Way. Hold on. Way. Hold on. Hold way. on. You're telling me the moon's not getting closer at any time? It's the same distance away the whole time? Well, no, there's some variation okay. in distance, but it makes a small percent, you know, 10% difference one way or another. Wow. And there's okay. a thing called the supermoon. Yeah. Don't get me started, okay? Go ahead, start. So, <laughs> so, so, I, so here in New York, we eat pizza. All right. I went to raise pizza and I said, make me a 16 inch pizza, which they did. I said, make me a 15 inch pizza which they did. Okay. That's the difference in size between a super moon and an average full moon. So why does it seem so big to us? Because you're looking at it on the horizon and all full moons look big on the horizon. Why, why, it's why is so the moon- so much bigger. I, I, I don't mind you calling it a super moon if a 16 inch pizza is super compared to a 15 inch the pizza. The question would be what's a regular fry and a super size? <laughs> <laughs> I think there's probably a lot more fries. But anyway. So it's, it's an illusion. What about the brightness factor? So here's an interesting fact. The, the laws of optics dictate that a full moon is 12 times brighter than a half moon. You think it would only be twice as bright, but it's not. It's 12 times brighter. So, it is so brighter. full moons are so visible and obvious relative to other phases of the moon. And moons really just reflect the light of the sun. Yeah, so people right? who, who act weird under the light of the moon, like, and become werewolves, that sort of thing. Yeah. But there are things that happen. Well, no, I'm right? just gonna say, I'm just gonna say that they're reacting to reflected sunlight. So whatever affects you from the full moon light should affect you even more in daytime. Interesting. I'm just, logically. And a blue moon is actually blue? Uh, there's, there's, it's not blue, it's, it's a, 150 years ago, there was an article that decided to declare that the second full moon in a calendar month, which can happen to everybody but February, uh, this, it's, we call that a blue moon. So that happens once every couple of years. And, and they and just called years. it a blue moon? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bad name, but it stuck. Mm -hmm. And they say once in a blue moon, which is not all that rare. The Olympics happens, you know, is it's, <laughs> it, it, the Summer Olympics is less common than a blue moon. How come I can see the moon sometimes during the day? Oh, it is up in the daytime just as much as it's up at night. There's a biblical verse that said, and uh, God made two great lights, one to light the day, one to light the night. Ever since then, people associated the moon with just the nighttime. But the moon comes, is, you just don't notice it because the sun is dominating the source of light. That, well, Neil, before you came on, we were on the dark side of the moon, but you've lightened it up for us. Oh, don't talk about the dark side. <laughs> Why you guys are getting at me? <laughs> 1973, Pink Floyd? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Album, The Dark Side mm -hmm. of the Moon? Mm -hmm. There is no dark side of the moon. Mm -hmm. And I've been working around the clock since then to try to undo this misunderstanding of the world. All sides of the moon receive sunlight. A day on the moon lasts 
a month, a month. So, Ooh, that's so, where month comes from? Yes, month, month. Where have I been? Yeah. Well, I, didn't, I didn't know that. Okay. that would... <laughs> oh, a, a fast other one. I know you were short on time. Uh, all the months of the, the moons of the year have a name that are cultural from history, yeah. basically. Well, one of them, the June moon never gets very high in the sky. And it always takes on these sunset colors, these amber, uh, uh, yellow colors. Mm -hmm. So that moon, the June moon, is called the honey. Oh, that's cute. Oh, honey. Oh, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, so the two, that's the two most famous moons, the honeymoon and, of course, the harvest moon. Thank you so much, Neil. Thanks for Thank being here. You. And Thank always you bringing much. your space tie. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't. I got to be in the mood. Faces yes. of the moon. Yeah. All the moon faces.